So what is up guys, Nick here, helping you to master your technology, iPhone 13 versus iPhone 11 Pro Max, which one to consider buying? Now I got the idea because the 11 Pro Max can actually be found with 512 gigs, less than the price of the starting 128 gig 13. And there's quite a lot going on for the 11 Pro Max. I think it does have quite a few things to match up against the, or even outdo the iPhone 13. So the 13 gives you, we'll talk about the body first. So get that squared edges right there, which is gonna give you that iPhone 12 like look. A little bit bigger camera housings that now go diagonal. Glass back here on the rear, lightning port at the bottom. It's a clean build, but honestly, I don't feel the square to feel quite as nice as the curb on the 11 Pro Max. You can see there is a little bit of a different notch. 6.1 inch display. It's a pretty medium size to me in current day market. Over here, iPhone 11 Pro Max, a bigger 6.5 inch display here. You do have a more premium stainless steel along the edges. On this one, I love this midnight green color. Also the matte textured back. Personally, between these two, I actually prefer the iPhone 11 Pro Max, but you may not. The cameras are a little bit smaller, that's for sure. A lot of people talk about this. Man, those look so small these days, but they're still very good regardless of their size. And it does have a little bit of a different notch. You really can't see it right now because we're not on a white screen. But overall, I would say the iPhone 11 Pro Max feels a little bit more premium. The iPhone 13 feels more modern. So in build and body, you do have a little bit better IP68 on this one. You could go like six meters versus four meters. I would say I do think the 11 Pro Max feels better. It's more premium build to me, but the iPhone 13, because it's modern, I'm gonna have to give it a tie in this category. Now in weight and ergonomics, the iPhone 13 is lighter. So that's a fact And this phone right here. Ergonomically, it feels okay. You know, it's that squared edge is just a little sharp to me. The iPhone 11 Pro Max does have more weight, but again, it does feel a little bit better. I would say in the corner of your hand, um, for some people, it's going to be too big, but the 11 Pro would rectify that if you want to consider that one as well. I'd say, again, in weight and ergonomics, it's a tie because this one is a little sharper in the corners, but it's lighter. This one over here, smoother in the corners, feels nicer in the hand, but it's heavier, so that can make it cumbersome for some people. Now, when it comes to our displays, it's pretty much a tie when it comes to actual quality of the panel. Both of these do have the same Super Retina XDR OLED displays on board. They're both 60 hertz, so you're not going to get any smoothness factor on either. And they actually hit the same level of brightness, 800 nits. So you're not going to hit that thousand like the iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max. But of course, if you go with the 11 Pro Max, you get the bigger screen here on the right. So that could be a win for you. I would say though, overall, it really there's really no winner here because it's just down to size. Which one do you prefer? in the size, but because the iPhone 11 Pro Max does have a bigger display, it's also a little bit wider. So you will have more space to you know, use your iPhone on the right, but other than that, they're essentially the same type of display. So there's nothing really to give the win to one or the other. They're both very good in this respect. And I think either one you use, you'll be very happy. They're not that difficult to see outdoors. So we don't gotta go on and on about display. They both have haptic touch, true tone dark modes, and night shift, so pretty much similar on that respect. Now on the topic of software, I would have to give the iPhone 13 the win in terms of longer software support. We are running the latest and greatest iOS 15.3 on the iPhone 13 as is we are running on the iPhone 11 Pro Max, but you just get a little bit more longer software support because you are running two generations newer chipset. However, the actual experience is not much different at all. It's essentially the same, except for you do have the cinematic camera mode and you don't have a telephoto lens. In the iPhone 13 Pro Max, you will get yourself that telephoto lens, which makes it a little bit of a different experience because you have that 2X right there, which actually equals around 4X optical. So you do have a little bit of a difference on both of them in the camera. Other than that, they do have essentially the same operating system and they will both be updated for a long time to come. So if you're not gonna keep your phone for more than say a couple years, either one will do. But if you're going longer term, the iPhone 13 takes the cake on this one for sure. But if you like to use a telephoto camera software, you'll have to go with the iPhone 11 Pro Max amongst these two. Now from a performance perspective, the iPhone 13 will beat out the iPhone 
11 Pro Max. If we were to do benchmarks, I'm not actually gonna run the whole thing. You do have the same amount of RAM on both of them. However, with the Apple A15, it is a clocked at a higher clock speed, which means that the phone does run a little bit quicker. 3.23 gigahertz over here on the A15. A13's run at 2.66. And also, the amount of memory is about the same, 3.60, 3.66 four gigs on both. Both of these can actually do a reload. It's not very common, but it can happen on either of these phones just due to the fact they don't have six gigs of RAM. In the real world though, regardless of the benchmarks winning out on the iPhone 13, the 11 Pro Max feels about the same in day-to-day -day performance. You're not really gonna notice too much of a difference. So I wouldn't pick either just on these bases again, unless you're gonna keep the phone super long term, like five years, then the iPhone 13 will start to show a little bit better performance down the line, but it's a long way down the line. And if you were to consider between both of these right now, the better storage value would be the 11 Pro Max. They do have an annoying 64 gig option. Don't buy that one. I highly recommend against it. But then you can go to 256 gig like here or 512. But here's why right now this is a better storage option because the iPhone 13 at its base level does give you 128 gigabytes, which might be plenty of storage for a lot of people. However, you can get this with 512 gigs, as I mentioned earlier, cheaper than the entry iPhone 13. So do keep that in mind. We're talking five times the storage essentially on this phone, maybe four times, I might be wrong on that math, but it's a lot more storage. It's hundreds of gigs more than the iPhone 13, which can mean the difference between running out of space and not running out of space. So keep that in mind. People just think about, oh, it's the latest phone, but they don't realize if you want the latest phone with all the storage, you're gonna pay more like a thousand or more than a thousand for an iPhone 13. So when it does come to the battery life between both phones, I would say that the iPhone 13 is a hair behind the iPhone 11 Pro Max. The 11 Pro Max can do about two to three hours better battery life in my experience. And I'm talking specifically, you know, just overall usage, like, you know, using your regular applications, some video streaming, stuff like that. In certain situations though, the iPhone 13 might do a little bit better. It does have 5G, which might drain it a little bit, but you know, they're very close in this department. It's probably in the real world gonna be the difference between a couple hours here and there. You know, some days you might get better battery life on the 13, some days more than likely most days on the iPhone 11 Pro Max, but I would say the 11 Pro Max definitely edges the iPhone 13 just. Now when it comes to the camera experience, I would say that the iPhone 13 is the better option, mostly because it has smart HDR4. It does have the cinematic video, which can be gimmicky for some. It's probably a great feature for pros, but most people probably won't even use that feature. You could do 4K 60, but my real reason why I'm picking the 13 is just, it's again, getting better results just out of the automatic camera mode. So if you're just taking a photo, you're gonna get better results. The majority of consumers will just get a better quick snap. Now the 11 Pro Max is also great, has smart HDR as well, but if you like telephoto zooming like this and you wanna go even farther on your zoom, the iPhone 11 Pro Max is the move. So it does have better telephoto zooming, but the overall results on the front cameras are pretty similar for both of these. They both have 12 megapixel cameras and they can both do 4K 60 on the front. It's just the processing, the software, stuff like that is just improved for the iPhone 13. So I'd pick the iPhone 13 on the camera, but if you went the 11 Pro Max route, you would still be getting a high level camera system. It's not like you're gonna be settling by a bunch. So go ahead and pick up the 13 for the better camera, the iPhone 11 Pro Max, will be solid as well if other areas are more important than you than just the camera. And if you're picking up one and you're wondering which one gets louder in the audio department, I gotta say it's pretty much a draw. I was drawing the same amount of decibel readings on both. They do have stereo sound on both of them. Speaker up here, then over here, you do have a speaker for the iPhone 13 as well. Sound wise, they're both solid. They both connect to AirPods and things like that very fast. So that's no issue. Now on the area of phone call quality, this is definitely gonna have to go to the iPhone 13. And this could be a major deciding factor because you do get better bars. You do get 5G, you only get 4G here and Intel modem. So it's kind of weak sauce on the iPhone 11 Pro Max versus the 13. The average person in a major city probably wouldn't really notice it 
too much but once you get out in the rural areas you'll definitely notice this difference the iphone 13 will win it out in this department so the iphone 13 there's a lot of areas where it definitely lost out to the 11 pro max but there's a lot of areas where 11 pro max loses out to the 13 this is a lot closer than you think just because you like to say oh it's the latest phone and everybody likes to focus on the latest phone forget the old phone you know look at there's a lot of areas where the 13 falls to the iphone 11 pro max but at the end of the day there was four victories to the iphone 13 there was three to the 11 pro max and about three draws so i would say that in conclusion the iphone 13 slightly edges the iphone 11 pro max just by a hair it's not too much but if you do like certain areas more on the 11 pro max it'll still be the better option for you like if you want a more premium bill but you don't want to pay the premium prices if you want a more you know i would say larger screen you'll definitely like that if you like the midnight green you'll like that and i know some people are going to get in the comments and say oh why would you get those you can get a a nice android phone for people are looking at iphones here my guy they're not really interested in, if they're looking at this video they're more than likely shopping for an iphone why would they want that android phone regardless if it has you know the latest specs and whatever it doesn't matter to a lot of people they just want to get an iphone at a great deal and between these two i'm gonna have to say the 13 slightly edges it thumbs up if you found this video helpful entertaining and informing do me catch you all in the next episode nick here be sure to be well and peace